Hi friends, welcome to a first edition YouTube channel. This is part 39 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about a special method called init in classes. So what is this init method in class? So this is a special kind of class which is available within every class. Using this init function, you can actually uh, assign values to your object properties when you are actually trying to create them. Again, what is object, what is class, everything, if it is not clear to you, please watch my previous video and then watch this video. Then only you will make sense of it or else you will not understand it. All my videos in Python playlist are one by one in sequence order. So starting the videos from the scratch, I mean from the starting point will help you actually to get the knowledge of the Python in depth slowly one by one. Now, uh, as I said in our previous example, let me try, let me go to... Uh, so this is our previous example uh, in the Visual Studio code where I created a class called person and if you see this class is nothing but like a blueprint as I said before. So before creating any object first you need to have a class in Python and then create an object from it. So for a practical example as I said in the last example let's assume on a paper you drawn a plan for your house how to construct that is a, like a blueprint of the house right so there is nothing but like a class. And by seeing that uh, that uh, blueprint of the house, you actually construct one house or two houses or ten houses, right? So all the physical houses, whatever you construct by seeing the blueprint is nothing but like an object. So object is something like uh, uh, came or built on top of the blueprint. So in Python, class is like a blueprint. If you see, and every blueprint or every class will have certain properties and certain methods. Properties are nothing but like a variables, okay? And um, methods are nothing but like a functions actually. If you see here, there is a person class I created. So he person will be having first name, last name, gender, right? All these are like a properties, okay? And maybe getting the full name of the person is one function or method what I created inside that blueprint or inside that class. So that whenever I create an object for this person, I can call this method from that object to get the full name of that particular object right using these properties so that is what we discussed in our past video so now if you closely observe in this example first name last name and gender properties all the properties has the values by default right so that is the reason if you if i scroll down here by using this syntax class name with open bracket and close bracket this is like a constructor so this constructor will construct a object on top of from your blueprint or from your class and that object will be stored into this variable. So now here person1 is an object created from this person class. And this object will contain first name property as a Sheikh, last name property as a Mahi, gender as a male. But what if I don't want first name to be Sheikh? Uh, I want first name to be like it, it should be in my control. Uh, I want first name to be Pradeep, last name to be Chikatla maybe. So how to do that? So for that in our last video what we did, we created a property, uh, we created an object from the class and then we try to update the values inside the properties accordingly right so this is like a two step uh, at this point of time when your execution is at the line number 15 here you will be having first name as sheikh and last name as mahir only but the moment you override those values explicitly in this fashion that's the moment you are actually overriding the values inside the properties but i don't want to do that is it possible to uh, uh, while constructing my object itself to say all this then the answer is yes. Actually, whenever any class will try to construct any object, there is some inbuilt function which will called automatically. So that function name is nothing but like init function. So this init function or this init method will be called every time any new object is going to be created. Okay. So what you will do in real time actually is you whenever you will be uh, creating a method with this name inside your class and whatever you want to do you will do there so in my case i what i want to do i want to assign the property values according to my need when i am trying to create an object so let's try to do that practically so that you will make sense of it so if i go here what i do i don't create i don't give any name in the first name or last name or a male properties of a class initially what i do i will create a uh, function as i said which is like init right def diff See the moment I said underscore underscore in it, you can see there is a uh, inbuilt function it is and which will take self as a default object. And again, as I said before, every method in Python automatically takes that particular class object itself as a input. And for that input, you can give any name. Here I am giving argument name as self. 
you can give abcd also you can give 1 2 3 also whatever the name you want to give you can give it that first way first argument in the method is going to always take the object of that particular class okay so that is the reason it it will make sense if you give name it as a self so that by seeing the argument name itself you can make sense it okay this is referring to self object okay but i can give abcd also as i said okay so let's not do that let's use self only and here inside this what i want to do i want to assign values for this first name last name and gender and if you see when i hover this self self is pointing to a object of that particular so if you see the tool tip it is pointing to the object of person person class only even if i say this abcd and save the changes even if you see now abcd will point to object of the person so there is no mandatory that you need to give this argument name as self only it's not like that you can give any name okay so let's use self here then self is nothing but like object of that particular class right so on self when i say dot you will see all these properties first name last name gender so here in the inside the init function when so this init function will be called whenever the object is getting created as i said and inside the init function i want to assign values to the first name and also i want to assign values to the last name and also maybe i want to assign values to the gender properties so now what value i want to set how i can pass the values whatever i want to set for that what you need to do for this function you need to add extra arguments to to take that values from the constructor so what i will do here i will add like first name and uh, one argument is first name another argument maybe a uh, last name last name is another argument and then maybe gender so i, I added three three extra arguments here not only self i added three extra arguments here so that init function will take values for those arguments and uh, assign that values into these properties so here first name and here whatever the value i am getting in the last name argument and here whatever the value i am getting in the gender argument so now how to how to pass the values for all these arguments to do that whenever you are trying to initialize uh, whenever you are trying to call the constructor of that particular class here you should supply values to it see the moment i says this open bracket let me remove this and the moment i says open bracket the intelligent says this constructor or this class has a init function and that init function expects three parameters f name l name gender why it is not showing self as i said before self is always like a uh, referring to that that particular object itself so you need to you no need to pass anything from the constructor it will be by default by default this person will one will be passed to it okay what you need to be worried about is you you need to make sure you pass values to other arguments whatever you created extra so here in my case i want to pass values to first name right so what i will do for first name maybe i will pass uh, let's say like pradeep okay and then for the second name last name right last name i will pass maybe like chikatla okay and then for gender maybe i will pass like male okay now let's save these changes let me remove all this below code so now what happened i created a object called person1 using this person class name and open bracket close bracket this is like nothing but like constructor using this constructor i am creating a object and while i am constructing the object itself i am defining values to my object properties how how that is how that magic is happening because because of this init function now if i run this code you will be practically seeing see i created a person one object now and then now i am calling print full name so now what will happen this print full name is going to print the full name right this we have seen in our last videos let me save these changes let me run this code here to see whether that is actually happening or not see i got pradeep chikatla as a full name why why because while constructing this object init function is getting invoked and that in for that init function i am passing this uh, name first name last name gender as arguments here and as i said self argument you no need to pass object will be automatically passed and this argument values are getting set as a properties for that particular object right so that is how it is actually so again if you see uh, let me create another class also for your understanding here so let's see class a b c d maybe okay and let's assume this class uh, let me define a uh, init function here also so in this class also i am defining a init function okay and to the init function self object uh, the whatever the object is getting created that will be passed automatically so self keyword and here what i am doing is uh, let me simply don't do anything let me simply use print statement here and print like maybe uh, init function called so this is the message i want to print now what i will do i will try to create a object for this particular abcd class and see whether this function is getting invoked automatically and printing the statement or not 
so now here what i am doing i am simply saying maybe like a b c d object equals to a b c d the class name then open bracket close bracket this is like constructor and constructor of any class will automatically invoke this init function and this init function is actually printing init function is called measure so let me save these changes now let me run this code you will make sense of it see init function called this message is getting print printed because this constructor is causing calling this init function automatically and this particular line is getting printed because here this because of this code okay so this is how this init function will be uh, used so in real time scenarios mostly we will use this init function to initialize the values for your properties not only that if you feel according to your real time scenario you need to do some kind of activity when you are creating any object then you should make use of this init function the same example was defined here here also if you see self object and name age properties are getting passed and that values are getting set into the object and again one last thing what i, I forgot to explain is if you see here i created a properties first here and then i assigned empty values to those properties and inside the init function for those properties i am assigning a values what you can do is you can completely avoid creating this properties here as well even that is possible let's assume i haven't declared any properties here directly inside the init function on top, on top of my object i am declaring few properties will this work or not it will of course work what it will do it will create a properties with these names and into those properties it will assign these argument values automatically so let me practically show you this one as well let me remove this class here and let me save these changes now let me execute this code see still i am able to get pradeep chikatla why because this init function actually creating properties plus adding values to it even that is possible okay so that's it in this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much